the magic crystal ball question is where are mortgage rates headed and i have some notes here that i you know just things i've been seeing in the news too and i try to you know i th try to take in a lot of information from a lot of different sources so i can make some good assumptions you know but i'm seeing stories that rates could head up closer to eight percent um but then i also see uh predictions by you know possibly you know, maybe the end of this year, 20, or excuse me, like 2024, 2025, we'll start seeing rates in the sixes and fives. So it seems like it's kind of all over the place where rates will go. Um, I think the one thing though, that kind of sticks stuck with me, rates could go up to 8% and a lot of buyers do not like sevens. Um, and I always say that low interest rates are a gift and not the norm. Um, so like I said, if, you know, if 7% seems high, 8% seems a lot higher. And, and I said, keep in mind with a home loan, you can always refinance out of it. If rates get better, if rates get worse, at least you're locked in at something, I guess, certainty, a lot of people like it. So kind of my notes on that, but let's get into John's, uh, John's crystal ball. We won't hold your feet to the fire. Um, but kind of give us some uh, insight there, if you would. For the last couple of years, well, let's take a step back. The COVID years, when the rates were in the low threes, mid twos, you know, depending on what time, let's be realistic. That's not a healthy market for the housing market. Those rates were due to a pandemic. And so personally, unless we deal with another pandemic like we did with the COVID years, rates probably won't ever get that low again. So... Mm -hmm. Like I said, I've been in the business for 18 years. I would say your average rate is anywhere from six to 7% on average, if you take it over, you know, the last 18, 19 years. Mm -hmm. So where we are right now, yes, our rates a little bit higher than that. They are due to inflation. However, we are seeing inflation come down. So in turn, we're hoping interest rates will die down. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people predict what is going to be happening with interest rates. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, no one has that crystal ball. However, a lot of companies out there are predicting by the end of this year to be in the mid sixes and mm -hmm. the beginning of next year in the upper fives to 6% range. So mm -hmm. that's a dra drastic drop from seven to seven and a half where we currently stand. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, in 2025, they are projecting rates to be in the upper fours, the low fives. Oh, wow. Awesome. So, so like you mentioned, what we can do is do a refinance. You can still buy now by, while it's not super busy in the market and just think it's in a year or two years, we mm -hmm. can refinance you out of that 7% interest rate into a 5% interest rate or mm -hmm. whatever the case might be and save you money on a monthly basis there. Mm 